So in the last lesson, we took a look at how we can sync our lips to our character right here. So now let's see how we can work further in it. So over here, you can see that as I uh, have my audio, and if I were to press the plus button on my keyboard or minus right here, it zooms in and zooms out just like this. Or I can use this to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline. You can see right here that under the Vizim section right here, you see the mouse shape. So it detected the mouse shape and then applied it onto it according to the audio wave right here. So let's just play this around. Hello there. So it says hello there right here. So a is applied and m is applied. So there's hello right here. I know that this is wrong right here. So what I can simply do is I can zoom in just like this. And then I can simply go around onto this and expand the a ah, right here. So now the mouth stays open as you can see. So it says hello there, just like that. So if I were to play this out, hello there. That is how it actually works like. You can actually control it out manually as well. You can also change this out right here. Let's say you have a uh, right here. You want to change out the mouth shape. You can right click on this particular one and choose the one you want to replace it with. So let's say you want to go with hello. So I'm going to go with O right here. So now you can see right here, it is hello there. Okay, so now that's it. But that is not what I want. So I can go over here and then add in as well. So I can right click and add in a Vizim right here. So I want to add in, let's say, A right here and A as has been uh, added. So A, O and A is there. So if I were to play this, hello there. So now it seems more accurate as you can see right here. Hello there. So now the auto detection does a great job of matching out the lips with uh, what is seen on screen. But you can see that you can even manually control these out just like that. So you can right click and add or you can right click on an existing Vizim right here to change out the shape just like that. And then you can just add that in. So even if there's no audio wave here whatsoever, if I were to play this out, the, the, the mouth just stays open just like that as you can see, and that's it. So now it says, hello there. Hello there is there if I were to play this round. So this is a tutorial on how you can. So you want to change out anything at all, you simply right click or you can arrange this out, change the gap just like that. Uh, or pull this out right here. You can even go around over here and then silence that out to delete that out. As you can see, you can right click, silence that out as well, or right click and add them out. And that's how you can use Vizims for manual mouth shape control for lip sync inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.